making a Stuart model steam plant part 66. An intruder in the workshop, piping the exhaust to the chimney and the water pump to the check valve. I have a ring surveillance system in my workshop and other places where I live. Just before midnight last night, my phone told me that there was an intruder in the workshop, so I quickly picked up the first thing to hand, which happened to be a battle-ready, extremely sharp, 30 inches long gladius sword. I went up to the workshop, but there was no sign of any breaking. This is what I should have done first. I checked the footage from the camera on my mobile phone. And it was a large spider. I don't see them much during the day, which is probably a good thing. They keep out of my way. Before commencing the piping job, I need to fix the condenser and the water tank to the baseboard, only temporarily, just with some odd 4BA bolts I found lying about. Once this plant is fully complete, I will dismantle it and paint the condenser and the water tank and other parts. I need to make a specially shaped a quarter inch diameter piece of pipe to go between the condenser and the chimney. Here's a piece of pipe and I'm using a deburring tool to clean the hole in the end of it. The hole in the pipe is 3 16 of an inch in diameter, so I've inserted a drill bit in there. Then I clamp the assembly in the chuck of my Boxford lathe. And using a tailstock die holder fitted with a quarter by 40 threads per inch die, I cut a thread on the copper. The drill bit keeps the copper central in the chuck and also prevents the copper from being crushed by the chuck jaws. With the help of a bit of WD-40 as a lubricant, I get a very clean thread. Now I need to re-thread the elbow that I'm going to use. These are PM Research elbows, which as far as I am aware are not the same pitch as the quarter by 40 threads we use in the UK. I do like these elbows, they're very useful, so I take the time to re-thread them with the British standard quarter by 40. I screwed the first piece of copper tubing into the elbow by putting it in the chuck to hold it while I did the job. The chuck is better than a pair of pliers because it doesn't mark the work. I managed to screw in both pieces of copper tubing all the way into the elbow. Then I silver soldered a union cone onto the other end. How did I get everything to line up? Well, it took two attempts to be honest, but I did it by eye. That's the exhaust steam to the chimney piped. I've turned the boiler around and now the second job is to pipe the water pump's outlet to the inlet of the check valve. This piece of copper pipe is 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter. I'm using a really useful microcosm small pipe bender. I want the piping to look very neat, so it needs to come back on itself, which aligns the piece of copper pipe perfectly with the check valve in the boiler. At this stage, after the silver soldering process, I'm fitting the pipes as they are. I will eventually put all the piping in my acid bath to clean it up. Here I'm tightening the unions, a 5 16 one at the top, and a quarter by 41 at the bottom. The 5 16 union nut has a union cone adapter for the pipe diameter of 5 30 seconds of an inch. Here you see the pipe connected up and I think it looks okay, it lines up perfectly. This next bit is wrong. I am not going to pipe the outlet from the water tank directly to the inlet of the water pump. My design of this plant incorporates an economizer or water preheater inside the condenser. And here are the inlets and outlets. I'm going to show you a clip from when I was building this condenser and then you'll get the idea. A coil of copper tubing sits at the bottom of the condenser and most of the time this will be immersed in the water which condenses in the condenser. In this clip you can see the two exhaust steam inlets to the condenser on the left hand side and from the centre is the outlet to the chimney that I've just piped up. I really have thought this through. The inlet to the pump is piped to one of the unions on the water preheater coil and at the other side the cold water feed from the water tank goes to the other preheater connection. I'm currently bending the piping and as you can see it's lining up quite well. The two long pipes going from the water tank and eventually back to the pump run down the side of the burner so this water is going to get quite hot. There is quite a lot of piping on this plant and I will continue in the next episode. For now, I will leave you with the totally harmless harvest spider in my workshop. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website. 
and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.